Hey Woodcasters, welcome back to the barn. Today I want to show you what's new and great coming for the 2015 Victorias. Now, from the video you're going to look at this thing and you're going to say, looks the same as it ever did. Well, that's about where the similarities end. Let's start at the bottom and we'll work our way to the top and I'll show you what's new. First things first, she finally gets the long overdue ash clean out. And it's the bottom plate, so you undo the bottom flange, the bottom comes off, and you clean her out from the bottom. Okay, why did I do that? You know, certainly on the side would have been a lot more convenient, just from ergonomics. The simple reason is, almost every clean out leaks. It's a habitual weak point in most gasifiers. So, I'm taking the position that mine's going to leak. Okay? If it does leak, what does it do? You have air coming in that little crack, and it ends up going up through a bed of charcoal. Charcoal updraft. Thing acts kind of like a dasifier. Okay? So, it's a, it makes it kind of forgiving. You'll notice that the swirl ash bin went away. Well, yes it did. And that's because the 2015s are getting a lot more attention to flow, which leads us up into the hearth. Again, hearth looks the same, not even close. For 2015, the Victorias are getting an internal tar flare. I'm actually vacuuming the pyrolysis gases off the pyrolysis zone, mixing them with fresh air inside, and injecting it into the raging hot second stage. So the tar gases will have preference, preferential availability to the oxygen. And I'm hoping this is going to make it a much, much cleaner version of her old self. Still roughly the same capacity, four nozzles, four eighth inch nozzles, replaceable caps, uh, no big change there. Let's go up to the fuel hopper. You'll notice that plain Jane carbon steel, that was at the request of my welder. Now, they were galvanized for 2014. Yeah, that was nice for rust. Uh, but his weld quality just wasn't what he wanted. So we're going to carbon steel. And, you know, this doesn't see any heat. This can be painted. It's not a heat transfer surface. So that's what's new and great in the fuel hopper. Still 24 inches, still the same capacity, same runtime, same everything else. Okay, let's go up to the puff lid. Puff lid functionally hasn't changed all that much. Okay. Obviously, it's bolted down in the final edition. The thing to notice about the puff lid, she picks up new attach points so that these act as anti-rotation features for the heat exchangers on the gas station. On the 2014 gas station and the prototype, yeah, sometimes those heat exchangers wanted to rotate if it wasn't bolted down tight. Well, that's all going away. Now it's going to be a rock-solid unit. So there you go. That's about it. That's everything that's new and great on the 2015 Victorious. Now it's time to take this thing out, get it dirty, get the test data, and see the impact. Oh, one more thing before I sign off. The preheat shell that goes over the hearth to warm the incoming air, this becomes a standard item on the 2015s. It was not in 2014. So, yeah, I got to have a little bit of a price increase to cover some of the additional stuff, but it's still going to be a $900 gasifier. Some people may say that's a little steep, but for all the CNC stuff and fittings that go into this, it is still a darn good deal in my mind. But hey, I'm slanted on the manufacturer. So, I will have test videos and flare videos posted soon. Have a great time, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks, guys.